Very, very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Zdravete or Zdraste, which in a local language in Bulgarian you say hello. And I'm exploring different part of Bulgaria as I'm on a road trip with my rental car and we just arrived to Arbanasi which kind of reminds me of uh, Papanashi which is the dessert from Romania um, probably no correlation at all it just kind of sound, sounds like that but yeah it's a little village which I see I see that it's kind of like a cute little town probably historical and uh, you can do like a half a day trip I'm actually staying in Veliko Tarnovo, which is another beautiful and very historical uh, city. And it's also, I think, the name of the province. And Arbanasi is actually part of this province. And uh, I'm spending the night in Veliko Tarnovo in the city center, but I'm just on the way and I thought, okay, why not to stop by here in Arbanasi and check it out to see what we can find and uh, based on my experience so far I feel like in Bulgaria when you go to the villages you come across lots of home museums and they, it's basically historical homes uh, maybe something like similar to this and they try to keep it in a good condition and afterwards they are just renting it out uh, to different I think business owners and they are actually use it as a museum and people come and go they can look inside how people used to live and see all the antique things inside the uh, homes and uh, based on when I look at to the maps I feel like there are lots of them here as well so not only that but also you can get some food and you can buy some touristic uh, items souvenirs to take home with you and I feel like Arbanasi is probably more famous for uh, tourism uh, among like a domestic tourism so the Bulgarians themselves make a day trip here or you can also choose actually stay and sleep somewhere in this area so the town itself is very quiet and it's middle of the day so most of the people are actually inside or they are just chilling in the park with their kids yeah i will do a little bit of exploration here i don't have such a high expectations i think uh, mostly it's some hotels restaurants and uh, some home museums and that would be it but the homes looking very beautiful and they look like in a good condition as well so welcome to Arbanasi guys and I will be exploring if I find the cool spots I will definitely make sure to share it with you guys for now check out the views to the mountains and the city um, beneath us so it seems like Bulgarka this is a Bulgarian restaurant probably but doesn't seem like this right here but the views to the mountains and to the city on the other side looks quite beautiful. Just walking around and randomly I find a corner where they're actually making some artwork and I would be actually interested to buy some. Straste. It's I can look? Yes, thank you. I can film, it's okay for filming? No filming? It's okay? Okay, thank you. <laughs> there is a sign that no filming, that's why I'm asking if it's allowed. It seems like this is where they make the artwork. And these ones are actually looking beautiful. This is Arbanasi, Bulgaria. And this is uh, some castle or more like a church. This looks uh, very beautiful actually. Boss, uh, how much? Is photos, the paintings. This is hand painted. Yeah, hand painted. You did this, right? Yes. Oh, well done. This a uh, watercolor, aquarium. Aquarium. Okay, aquarium. okay. It's with the water uh, painting, basically. Yeah, okay. The price one hundred sixty. One hundred sixty. One hundred sixty. All right. Yes. Do you have uh, smaller and maybe cheaper prices? Uh, one fifty. 150 is the final price. Yes. Okay, okay. What's uh, what's your most favorite this painting? Is the, uh, is the from oh, thank you so much. 
uh, Arbanasi. This is all Arbanasi. Yeah, here, the street. Ah, this street uh, going the, down. The, the nativity church from here. Okay. What's uh, what's your most favorite? Your best painting, you think? Yes, this one. This one from. But Arbanasi. one. If you have to choose one, if you have to choose only one. O only one. Yes. <laughs> uh, from Arbanasi. Not yes, from Arbanasi. Yes, please. Maybe this one. Yeah. So this is. This is the this is your favorite. Oh, this uh, looks. This is House Museum Constanza Leva House and Cocona Fontaine. Aha, uh -huh, Cocona this Fontaine. Cocona Fontaine? Fontaine, yes. yes Cocona. Yes. Co Cocona. Cocona, like Cocona. a cocos. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no cocos. No. Cocona. Cocona, this is the nice lady. Ah, Cocona <laughs> means nice lady. Not, not married. Ah, not married, not single married. lady. Na, na, I see. <laughs> All right, yes. I get it now. Cocona. Cocona Fontaine. Cocona Fountain. Yes. All right. So it's this one and maybe other one. I really like this colors, like it's more popping. Do you have this similar one. to this without frame? This not. This is the price. That ah, it's 125 euros. So this one is more expensive. Yes. Okay. And uh, I like really this one. Yes. Yes. Yeah, you can see on this one. Okay, yeah, and I want to see this one too, yes. please. I will buy one, don't worry. Yes. Okay. <laughs> this is nice, but this is only a little part, but yes. this is nice too. But Th this, this is the here. Uh huh, this is also here. <laughs> the, this house? Ah, this house. Yes. So you, you sit and here, you look at it, and draw it. <laughs> yes. Wow, that's amazing. All right, wonderful. Is there any I can get only the photo no frame for 150 is it possible about, uh, no, this, the this one like and and what about this one is this also more expensive yeah, the, the, the the same price the maybe you, you can buy it uh-huh and around uh, then it is i make this count this okay uh, 200 lever. 200 is the last so it's 100 yeah, yeah, euros yes. okay we can do this you give me the frame uh, the frame the this also? Yes, yes. Everything. Yeah, yes, everything. everything. Okay. Everything. But there is no glass, no? No, no glass. No, no, no uh, glass. Have glass. This is the packet. Okay, okay. You, you, you uh, and uh, go to the house. Okay. And this is the. I take it off, yeah, but there is yes, no glass. Yeah, no? Yeah, have glass. Ah, there is a glass. Yeah, a yeah, plastic, yeah. plastic, no? Pla plastic. This plastic, goes. yeah. Because yeah. I travel, I cannot yeah, travel yeah, with this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, plastic. Yeah. No. Okay. Plastic. All right, we have a deal. Maybe I give you $100. Is it okay? Hundred dollar. This one hundred eighty level. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes, the, okay. Uh, uh, one hundred. Uh, ten. Hundred ten. Okay. Okay. I give you hundred. One ten. One ten. Okay. One ten. Okay. Yeah. I give you hundred dollars and I give you hundred uh, ten or twenty lever. Okay. Twenty lever. Yes. Twenty lever. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Where are you I, from? I am from Azerbaijan originally. Yes. yes. Are you from Arbanasi? You live here? Uh, you, you speak uh, Russian? Rush, Russian? I speak Russian, yeah. Ah, uh, Paruski is nice. Da, da, da. Da, 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 okay. Ah, okay. So he's saying that uh, he studied like a Russian in school, so they prefer actually speak Russian <laughs> than. Ah, uh, Paruski, da, only Chucho знает. Anglicky лучше для меня. Okay. Спасибо. А еще еще сто долларов, да? Mm-hmm. Сейчас. Okay, we need to. Ah, uh, да, я живу в Баку. Ah, здесь сто долларов, да? Супер. Очень приятно. А как тебя зовут? Меня здесь. Христов. Христов. А Христов. Что это? Это это А, it's only signature. Yeah, signature. Christoph, yeah? Christoph, yeah? Christoph, okay, okay, very nice. Thank you so much. А, ну, 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 без без пакет. Ну, ну, у меня есть машина здесь. I have a car here. Okay, okay. Best problem. Okay, Christopher, right? Christopher. Christoph. Christoph. Очень приятно. Very nice to meet you. Davut. Davut. Da 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 Davut. At at ti. Tudor. 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 Nice to meet you. And uh, you are house uh, wife and husband, no? Yes. Yeah, okay. Okay. Very nice. 
I uh, you, uh, this is from Bulgaria. Yes, I bought this from Bulgaria. Yes, yeah, it's yeah, nice. Yeah. You like it? I like yeah. how the sleeves has a uh, beautiful yeah, patterns too. Yes, typical. Typical. Yes, yes. I also bought one in Romania. They also have yeah. similar uh, design, yeah. and I in love Romania, it. In Hungary, Ukraine. In Hungary, yes. In, uh, yes. Yes. Ukraine, yes. Very similar. Um, yes. Old Slavic nations. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. All right. Yeah. It was pleasure. I love your artwork and I'm surprised to see you on the street here. Yeah. It's there's nobody but you are working and yeah. selling your items. All right. Nice Thank day. you. You are happy with the price? It's good price? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. All right. Perfect. Thank you. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. Udachi. Spasiba. Thank you. Oh, that was so nice. I think I got the best painting possible right here in the village. All right. We also have the lady selling things making business from one vendor and not making with another one i think it would be shame so we have to buy something здрасте здравствуйте здравствуйте how are you как дела хорошо хорошо окей а сколько стоит этот это болгарский мотив очень хороший ага so 45 euro oh 45 euro okay discount 40 but you have smaller uh youtube is маленький Da. I want to buy anything from her, so I want yeah. something. Uh, uh, same price. Ah, uh, same price. Okay, okay. This is motif Arbanasi. Ah, uh, this motif looks very Arbanasi. beautiful, actually. Very nice, uh, this is designed from Arbanasi. For, for Arbanasi. Oh, that looks very beautiful. This is uh, 68. Discount okay. 60. Okay, and this one was uh, you this give me it for forty. Okay, can I uh, get this for fifty euro? I give you okay. give you eighty left. Uh, eighty left. Eighty lever. Uh, this is one hundred left. Uh, this is one hundred okay. left. This is eighty left. Ah, okay. Uh, okay, I want this. Okay. I want to take this. This is for table. For table. For putting on the table. For table. Okay, I give you hundred lever. Okay. Hundred lever. This is handmade. Handmade. You handmade. made this? I made. You made this I with made. your hands? Yeah. Wow, handmade. very good, very good. Handmade. Yeah, ah, you are making right now. Can you show me? Hi. Ah, she's Lola. making all these designs, the, the shirts, but I already have a nice shirt, so. This is uh, linen. Uh -huh. size. It looks wonderful. Ah, oh, this is a bigger this version. Big size. Yeah. And how much is this? <laughs> very expensive? Uh, Discount. <laughs> uh, this is 150 euro. 120. Okay, okay. No, I want uh, this. Okay. I want small. Okay. All right. 100 left, yes? Okay. We have the straight 100 left for the lady. I love this 100 lever, how it looks like. 100 lever. 100 lever, da? Пожалуйста, thank you so much. Благодаря. Благодаря, я. Thank you. And uh, can I ask how many hours you uh, make one this? 15 days. 15 days? This is uh, Hippocles Obikander. Wow, Much that's work. amazing. This one. Wow. 15 Very days you work on it. Days. Wow, that's amazing. Not expensive. Yeah, no, no, no. It's good price. I No, comp no complaining. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy with 100 lever. Please. Yes. Thank you. The money is there. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. And what's your name? Eva. 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 Okay. And you are from Arbanasi? Uh, Velektorno. Velektorno. The, the city? Yes. Velektorno. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Very nice. <laughs> this is shopping. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Only shopping. Come come for business. Only shopping. Only business. business. So. business. Very nice yeah. to meet you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. And good All luck. Best. Good luck. Thank, Thank you so much. Uh, this is the painting the gentleman was showing me that they he actually basically drew while sitting right here. Quite a beautiful and little village. I'm uh, surprised, but at the same time very impressed with the artwork. I'm very surprised, but at the same time very uh, kind of excited with the quality of the artwork they have presented to me. And uh, of course these are touristic prices, but also they put so much effort to make this art and that's their uh, life and that's how they basically make living so I should definitely contribute to the business even though it's pricey it's definitely much better than buying machine made things and China made things that people just sell on the main street all right guys these are the 
little cute street which I'm taking currently and enjoying the vibes and yeah I will show you and share with you more experiences from this very beautiful and little village almost at the end of the village there's actually viewpoints but it's all covered with different hotels and restaurants so basically you kind of have to pay for the best views and enjoy it from here and I found this restaurant called Reste Bar and Dinner and it seems like they have a good rating I think 4.6 out of 5 and this might be a good opportunity for us to go inside and check it out most importantly have a look at the views but at the same time have something drink because it's really really hot right now so let's go inside to see how it looks like how it feels like and what we can eat hello Zdraste. is it okay if i only drink something yes, yes no problem i can sit outside yeah whatever you like. thank you so much all right this is a the outside inside part but also there's a little opening with the views to the to the outside to the views to the city just below us you see like all these new businesses are getting built and they are basically blocking each other from the views so this one found the space and built it up the property right there and now this restaurant don't have exactly the best view to the city but still you can look at to the mountains and enjoy it and appreciate the views as i mentioned it's very very hot so it's a perfect opportunity to get something to drink and at the same time enjoy the views all right i order some drinks and we'll see you later on Thank you so much, Volga Daria. Thank you, very kind. Thank you. All right, I ordered a drink, I almost finished it, but at the same time I ordered something a little bit light and I feel like in this such a heat, uh, Tarator soup would be actually a perfect opportunity to cool down. And this is basically mix of different herbs as well as there's a cucumber yogurt water i believe and probably some olive oil at the top and probably some salt pepper as well just mixed all together and this is served as a soup and it's cold actually so i don't know if i can call it soup but that's how they call it tarator soup and it's basically cold and uh, this is what we have we also got a shopska salad here which looks actually fantastic so something a little bit more light to eat for lunch and then um, gonna enjoy the views as well as continue our journey later on thank you so much can i have uh, one more lemonade please yeah. thank you thank you all right guys this is what we have for food and we'll see you later on All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for us to pay and we got the bill for two lemonades, one salad and one soup is comes to approximately 30 uh, leva and that's basically uh, approximately 16 dollars, let's say 17 dollars or 15 euros if you want to call it. I think it's quite a reasonable price and we're gonna leave 10 leva which is around 5 euros as a tip as well and yeah it was a good quality food amazing views and good service at the same time and now it's time to go i'm heading to the main city but on the way there's a place called love swing or something like this it's i think swing uh, with the panoramic view I really want to stop there just to check it out quickly and I want to show it to you as well. So we'll see you in the love swing place. I thought going to the love swing gonna be actually quite an easy ride and it was actually five six minutes then I figured out it's nowhere near the, the main road so we have to actually hike there. And seems like this is the start of the hike, Lubov Lubovta. 
it means love and this is the direction it's gonna take us I think it will take another 10-15 minutes even though my belly is so full I just ate drink two lemonades but we're gonna go for it and they always say the hardest roads takes you and brings you to the best viewpoints so I am following that idea and hopefully we're gonna get somewhere really cool so I can show you the nice views from the above so the trail gonna be something like this I think this is all the colors we need to follow and at some point we're gonna get to our destination so I will see you later on guys when we arrive to our spot Even if we don't find the swing or if it's not operating, we should be somewhere right there. Probably with the best views possible, that's what I'm assuming. And we have got into the nice view point. And it's really definitely worth it to come for the hike, even if we are not gonna go for a swing. Such a beautiful views. <clears throat> you can see the castle um, walls right there. There's a church in a the distance, there's a one Bulgarian flag here, another Bulgarian flag right here. This is the main road which connects you to the city, which is on the right side. And we can also see the, the river is flowing, as you can see, and there are a few bridges over it. Quite a fascinating views. And I'm just standing on the cliff edge and gives me the best panoramic views right now. So, the hike itself is already worth it, but let's go and find the love swing. Let's see what is it about. We are following this trail colors and we are in the right direction, as there is only one trail actually, so you wouldn't get lost. And we just entered to the forest actually, and I'm assuming this is a sign that we are almost at the top that's where we need to end up for the love swing so few minutes more to go guys check this out guys such a beautiful views and we are looking currently to Veliko Tarnovo city which is just in front of us and I think we have made it I am sweaty at the moment the hike wasn't that hard but it's really steep so you have to go all the way up and you have to cross the between the rocks and things like this but not hard at all and made it my way to the love swing let's go check it out i am expecting that there's someone actually charging for the service as they have built it up but currently i cannot see anyone i cannot hear anyone so we're gonna figure out how does it look the views from there and if there's actually anyone so let's have a look all right seems like this is our spot for the love swing but i don't see any operation office or anything like this this is actually really steep so i need to made way made my way all the way up there so i can show you safe and sound all right we have made it guys there's a little rope here i guess it's just for the safety in case it's swinging no one comes in but there's a place to sit down and here it is the love swing i was really expecting that actually someone gonna be here and they're gonna charge us for their service but since there is nobody which means this gives us opportunity to swing I am really hopeful that this holds me and I don't go all the way down unexpectedly and this is basically tied to two these trees one on the left one on the right right there so far seems safe 
Shall we go for it? Of course. Woo! Wow, that's amazing. Look at this, guys. As you swing, I can show you my legs so you have an orientation, guys. As you're swinging, wow. It's incredible. Woo! Wow, this is amazing. I can go a little bit harder. Woo! <laughs> oh, my heart actually drops. Woo! Because when you're swinging, on this part, at the edge, it's kind of like you're floating or you're like flying. Such an incredible experience. I was expecting there are gonna be lots of people here as this is, I think, one of the touristic spots you can visit. But currently there is nobody and the whole swing is for me and I'm just gonna enjoy it and have a wonderful time. Ooh, this is amazing. Free experience, guys. If you are visiting the town, come check it out love swing it's a little bit hike but not hard at all and you can come and enjoy the views i'm really hoping there's no big animals around here as we are on the forest but you never know all right guys check this out the views to the city and love swing on top of the world kind of I just arrived to Veliko Tarnovo, that's the city, the main city in this area and I'm staying here at least for one night and I am super impressed already, I checked into my beautiful guest home room, guest house room if I have to call it but this is actually much more than normal hotel, I think it, even much better than any five star hotel I have ever stayed, it's just beautiful views and I'm gonna do the tour for you and uh, you have to hold on for the views I think that's the best part of this whole concept here the room itself is very small I have to accept and admit that but the way they organize the room it's just perfectly done I think they put a lot of efforts to make this space to work perfectly at least for two people I don't see if there's any other space for a kid or anything else so for a couple this is actually perfect opportunity to stay here with a beautiful and amazing views to the city itself basically we have the double bed right here uh, you have some space on this corner that's probably where I'm gonna open my luggage and uh, very interestingly the way they designed this they actually put little uh, kind of like a bar tables right here by the window so if you are cooking something you can actually sit and eat right here as you know there's no space anywhere to have any, even a coffee table or normal table but for a night for a few nights I think it's a perfect opportunity and they fit it in also fully equipped kitchen which is amazing like they have the whole kitchen area they have the fridge they have an oven right here if you want to cook there's also a place uh, if you want to cook something not like uh, on the oven but with the electric um, like energy and uh, they also put a microwave right here before I continue with the room, if you are already interested, if you are already sold out before you even saw the views, then this is the place name. It's called Panoramna Guest Rooms. This is the name of the property you can find on Google as well as on Booking.com. And I'm paying 55 American dollars to stay in this room for one night. If you are here, two people, 25 uh, to 30 dollars per person I think it's a great deal with very nice views I know I'm talking about the views most of the time but I will show you and you will see how amazing is it just to wake up and have these beautiful views beautiful beautiful panoramic views and uh, kitchen as I have mentioned we have a sink and all other things you need for cooking toasting and things like this so as I mentioned just fully equipped kitchen I'm not gonna go into details but you can find everything you need basically for a basic cooking experience and having a lunch or dinner on top of that there are actually more than hotels sometimes I pay 150 200 dollars in a hotel and only thing they give you is basically coffee and some tea but here they even provided some cookies like uh, we got a chocolate croissant we also got a, i think this is cream brulee 
flavor. I have never actually had this one, so I always had a, a different one. But I will try this one out. And of course, we have got uh, some tea here, uh, coffee capsules and instant coffees. Uh, and there was a uh, two bottles of water, which I already drink one. We have a wardrobe in this corner. We have got a TV and uh, we also have our uh, air conditioning, which is working at the moment. So as you can imagine, this little space, but they fitted in everything perfectly. All right, let's go check out the toilet and the bathroom. This is our shower area on the right side. We have the toilet area on the left side and we have got also uh, the sink and the mirror right here. And this is the heater for the water. Again, they are doing actually more than any five-star hotel. Look at this. They have all these little things for your comfort, toothbrush and um, things like this. They got also a little uh, flip-flops or whatever you want to call it we have a uh, towels and it looks super super clean and it's like the reconstruction done just right now and I just moved in so it's so clean like that all right I have been talking about the views so let's go check it out and uh, every morning you wake up you can open this get into your little balcony where you actually have opportunity to sit and uh, enjoy some coffee if you like. So there's a little coffee table right here. And then these are the views you get every day, every morning, as long as you stay in this beautiful place. Wow, such an incredible experience. And you can actually see how the locals also live in nearby. And I believe this was kind of like a similar type of home and they reconstructed it and made it more like a guest house and people can come and enjoy their time here. I can also see that this is a part of the property as well. They actually got a sun bathing um, beds. So probably they have much bigger space than I do, but I'm sure that I got better views than them because I am one floor higher and I have a much better panoramic view than them. So whatever you want to sacrifice more comfort on the balcony or better views you can basically choose from their list of different rooms all right this was about the views guys and about the room tour and uh, i arrived to the another part of the bulgaria we'll be exploring in the next videos so thank you so much for watching and joining me in this beautiful and crazy experience from the village and checking into my hotel room so i was very happy to show you guys all right, signing out for now and we'll leave you with this incredible views to the beautiful city in front of us. See you next time, guys.